and he's now a free man, and his story is quite troubling. Five weeks after 9-11, Bomadian was arrested by Bosnian police, charged with conspiring to blow up US and British embassies, a charge he calls false and ludicrous. Yeah. Oh my God, you are alive! Yeah, Bermadine, how are you getting on with that document of Astrid's finish? I'm working on it, yeah. We'll have it in 30 minutes, maybe. Finish it quickly so that you can get home to your daughter, yeah? Sure, I will. Thank you very much. Dad! Hi, Athena. I'm at the shop and I'm coming back home right now. Can you save some food for me, please? Oh, okay, thank you. Hey, hurry, that mom and I are waiting. Two hours later. Athena, I'm home. Oh, she's leaving. I'll just go for a walk and come back later. A few moments later. You're out the rush! You're out the rush! Bomadis. What are you doing? What are you you doing? are under arrest. What Give you me your on? phone. Give me your watch. Sorry, you can take it. You can take it. What's going on? I don't get anything. I'm free. I'm a, I'm a normal man. Get in the cell. The American government is arresting you, but you don't know why. You cannot know why. Sir, but please, can I have some water at no. least? Can, can I call my daughter? No. She doesn't know where I am. No. Why not? No. You cannot. I. Why for what? Your mark shot. New, just in. Chief Officer of Guantanamo Bay, Gonzalo Rios, released Bumadine's mugshot in the early hours after his arrest. He's under suspect of being a threat to the United States and the UK, and we still do not know how long he'll be held captive for. Leave me alone, please, leave me alone! Ah, I'm innocent, I'm innocent! Ah, ah. I've been here for a year. What am I gonna do with my life? No, where are you gonna do it? Where are you gonna do it? Leave me alone! Ah. I'm a human being. I deserve more water than this. Come on, it's just... What is this? What is this? Five years here. Come see my family in five years. What a bad life to have. But in Guantanamo, he was kept awake for 16 days straight and repeatedly physically abused. I'm telling you, America, I'm innocent! I'm giving up on life. My daughter by this time will be 16 years old. Happy birthday, dear Athena! Happy birthday to you! My wife is alive or dead? What type of life is this? What type of life is this? Anything wrong? I'm not a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist. Do you hear me? I'm not. Another disturbing decision coming down from the Supreme Court today, and we're going to unpack all of it, including the ramifications for this country. Are we 
you ready to proceed? He's a terrorist, and that's not good. We need to protect the U.S. at all costs from them. Any chances we don't want other than 9-11. Or Third Reich. There's no evidence to support your guys' claim. You can't just arrest him because he's brown. He hasn't seen his daughter for eight years. Think about his family. He hasn't seen them in eight years. How would you feel growing up without your father? We have to protect the U.S. We don't want another Rwandan genocide. Or Armenian genocide. You know, we have to guarantee due process. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty. This is still America, isn't it? Justice for Balmady. 3.28 a.m. The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when in the cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require it. The court's decision is five to four. Indiana versus Bush, in which the Supreme Court ruled that detainees have the right to challenge the reason that they are being detained. A Republican appointed judge ordered him released last November saying there was not enough credible evidence to hold him. And he's now a free man and his story is quite troubling. Boumediene's attorneys beat the Bush administration in the Supreme Court for the right to challenge his detention in the court. Back to you. And a judge appointed by Bush then ruled the evidence against Boumediene was weak and he ordered his release. What? You're letting me out after seven years? Justice Kennedy last week, 5-4 decision. This was a major, major turn on past yeah. precedent, uh, yeah. allowing these uh, detainees to challenge their detention in federal court. The president and Congress worked together to come up with these procedures after the last Supreme Court decision on this issue. So they were and last month, he was reunited with his family. He says he understands how the 9-11 attacks propped strong reactions to the U.S., but only to a degree. Boumediene says he holds no ill will towards the American people except for President Bush, Vice President Cheney, and three other Bush administration officials. He and his lawyer are now considering suing the U.S. government. They say he is a poor man and needs help. As for those charges against the U.S. military that he alleged that he was tortured, the U.S. military says they take all such claims seriously and it is not policy of the U.S. government to torture detainees.